Matheson so impressive last week when she found late room to race, she exploded home to score in 149 and two in a prep. They're lined up for the Roses are red. Off and pacing. Good beginning inside. Karma Sealster is blasting out of there for McNair. Smacks that wheel disc. Here outside comes Marlowe. Hanover now up to challenge. Looks like she'll pocket drop. Rocknificent will take no pocket though as she is surging on the outside for Zeron in a bid for the lead. So much more was put into play by McDonald. He finds her the early four hole. Coming away from in fifth in the first turn, JK First Lady. Lion Sentinel out of trouble in the early going back there from in six. McClure backed off with Mock and Hope into seventh. Then it's back to keep rocking towards the inside leader rose to her outside there in the backfield is major occasion then we go back to find peaky sneaky and Gia surreal is trailing a 26 and 2 first quarter thrown down and it's rocknificent who does the throwing she leads the way for zero on across the back stretch up front just over a length what a trip for karma sealster in the pocket spot marlo hanover third so much more is fourth getting underway comes now to the outside jk first lady up three wide is major occasion she's in never never land further back we go to lion sentinel on cover Halftime 55 and 4, and they rally into the final turn. Rocknificent leads the charge. JK First Lady fires first over pocket rider Karma Sealster. Then on cover line Sentinel, buried at the rail is Marlowe Hanover. Then keep rocking. Totally buried at the rail is so much more. Held up in traffic is Lita Rose. Then inside is Mock and Hope, along with Gia Surreal. Wide coming out of the turn is Peaky Sneaky to get around the troubled major occasion. Three quarters of 122 and 4, and they're into the stretch. Can they catch? Rocknificent. Zeron pops the plugs as they come into the stretch. Lion Sentinel roars off cover now and is charging quickly here for Tietrick in deep stretch. Lion Sentinel pacing up a storm and it's Lion Sentinel kicked off cover and she'll win the Roses of Red going away. Lion Sentinel again. Lion Sentinel over Rocknificent and so much more escape late for third in 149 and one. Lion Sentinel delivers as the three to five heavy favorite, 149 in one range. She got away both mid pack, which I, I thought was pretty good considering we knew there was going to be a lot of movement. But talk about the backstretch there. It reminds us of another man that wore the green and gold colors and raced in Grand Circuit events not that many years ago. Here's Lion Sentinel back to the Windback Farm Winner's Circle. Lion Sentinel is a four year old captain, treacherous marrow to the Western Ideal Dam. 2-2 Hanover, three lines racing of Bradford owns. Jim King Jr., the trainer, and Tim Tietrick in the bike for the winning drive. It's the sixth win of the year from 12 attempts for Lion Sentinel, bred by Hanover Shoe Farms, capturing the roses red this evening, and does so in a time of 149 and 1. The trophy presentation made to the winning connections by Mr. Bill McClinchy, director of racing for Woodbine Entertainment, Lion Sentinel. Victorious in the Roses Red, a popular winner here, and she continues her domination in the division this season, already her sixth win this year, her 18th lifetime score. Earnings going well over 400,000 on the season with the victory tonight. And another feather in her cap. The 2021 Roses of Red final going to Lion Sentinel here with a very happy trainer in Jim King Jr. You mentioned to me how here Woodburn Mohawk Park is one of your favorite places to be, and of course it is when you keep winning races like this. Well, you know, I get to come here for this. This is my third time for this race. That is so big. The to come here the first time we really came here and win a big race. It was the North American Cup with Wakasashi with some. Both the horses. This one and Wakasashi have. Canadian connections from Toronto or uh, Toro mm -hmm. and, and, and here. And that's, that's pretty special. <laughs> How does it feel if you had to sum it up into words? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's pretty good stuff for an old man. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I came with the best horse and the best guy. That so. is true. I know, I, I know you want to get back to your horse. Uh, definitely enjoy that and congrats on a huge Thank victory. You. I'm going to bring you. in Timmy right now. <laughs> Here with Tim Tietrich. I know you're no stranger to the Roses Are Red, this being your sixth, uh, actually, is the seventh this time around for the Roses Are Red? I mean, losing count at this point. That's okay. Let's keep counting them up higher. <laughs>
How does it feel to capture another one of these races in here? Uh, anytime you get to win a prestigious race, especially on a big stage like here at Mohawk Woodbine. So, um, you know, you're racing against the best horses, best guys in the country, and best trainers. So when you come out at the top, it's uh, like I always say, if you could hit the board, you're doing good. And to win it's mm -hmm. just amazing. When I think of a race like this, I think of the great Andrew Vett, Charton. How does this mare stack up with the rest of them, obviously? Well, it's you know, pretty cool. She's, she's only four and uh, competing at a very high level. And, uh, you know, she's a different kind of horse than those two. But I tell you what, she's, uh, <laughs> she's finding a better spot in my heart every day. Oh. Well, talk me through the trip a little bit in here. I'm obviously able to get that second over trip. Uh, she had tons left down the lane and obviously much the best. Well, I, you know, for the two trailers, it was a little bit... Um, could have been a really cluster if you want to call it that but uh luckily there was enough leaving out of there and i got to slide over to get in the two wide spot and you know i got to find dexter to follow him second over and you know this i was a little worried at the half 55 and a piece to the half i was like man that's pretty slow for these and you know but luckily my mare was really good today and you know we got the job done well congrats on that and hopefully hopefully this victory doesn't get old i know the roses are out or something very familiar too. Old. thank you very much <laughs> thank you so much